Hey y'all, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're not. My name is Jill and today I'm going to be showing y'all a go-to glam look for this summer. If you're looking for something to wear, going to the club with your friends, you're going to a concert, you're going to a wedding, you're going to... Where, where else you going? Just an outing, a date night, friends date. If you are going to any type of special event this summer, I think this would be a really cute look for you. Very simple, but still popping. If you're a girl like me, when I go out, a lot of times I want to put some makeup on because I just like doing that unless I am in a rush. And of course I'm not. But I love putting on makeup. I love getting cute for events. So this is a great go-to look for you. I think I really ate this. I'm not going to lie. So if you like the look and you're interested in seeing how I achieved it, continue to watch this video. But before you do that, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, so let me know that you like my videos, you like what you see, and you hear. Um, and send it to your friends and try it out. Let me know in the comments, have you used anything that I showed in this video? Any opinions you may have? Anything you think I should try? Also another thing and another thing <laughs> and another thing please shop my cosmetics business i do have a cosmetics brand called Atour cosmetics it'll be on the screen and in the description i am wearing multiple products for my brand as of right now and i show you guys how i use them so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this video hey y'all so we're gonna go ahead and get started i start with my eyebrows and i love to use a good pencil today i'm using the nikki k eyebrow pencil in a dark brown color I don't remember exactly which one but I always use the spoolie brush my eyebrows out right now my eyebrows are a little thin um, I've been picking at them so I really want to make sure I get good coverage using my pencil I like to start in the front I do very soft strokes soft long strokes um, to really build out that shape um, but still keeping it soft I don't like super dark brows it's never been my thing so I just make sure that I do some soft strokes and yeah, looking good, girl. Bitch, I'm a star, I got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he gon' get a holler. Bitch, I'm a star, I got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he gon' get a penny. He know he giving his money to make it. He know it's very expensive to date me. Call him, go put my name on that account because when I need money, I ain't trying to holler. He know he giving his money to make it. He know it's very expensive to date me. Call him, go put my name on that account because when I need money, my eyebrows used to take me so long i feel like i've kind of mastered exactly how i like them i don't like them too thick too thin um like when I first started makeup, my eyebrows took me the longest out of all of my steps. But I don't know. I just try to focus. And as you can see, I'm doing the other eyebrow. And the pencil for me doesn't have to be super sharp. Just enough to really get precise. Um, especially around the tail. As you can see, I'm trying to carve out the tail there. Not super, super sharp, but because you kind of want it dull so that you're able to, so you don't break the, like, the crayon, if that makes sense. The pencil, like the, not the lead, but you get what I'm saying, the color itself, you don't want to break it on the pencil, so. Yeah, girl, oop, not my wig. All right, all right. All right, so now I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast right under my eyebrows. This is like the closest concealer shade. I don't like a super bright under, out, under eyebrow, personally. Um, I prefer a little more natural because naturally under your eyebrows are just not that light, in my opinion, at least for me. Um, so, yeah, Toast is a great um, shade for me. For under my eyebrows, I use this under my eyes also for my no makeup makeup look. I'll 
definitely try to get that out to you guys so y'all can see what I mean. But yeah, I just carve out my brows. And at this point, the eyebrows don't have to be perfect because I do go back in with the pencil and kind of tweak it a little bit. Just because sometimes um, you may over conceal, or at least I over conceal sometimes on accident. Um, and as you can see, my hair was just in the way. So I was having a hard time, um, you know, doing that, at least on the right side, I was having a hard time. But yeah, so I just go in and carve. And that's why I like the LH Pro Girl because the like brush, I don't know how to describe it, but that brush is just, it works so well. So now I'm gonna use my Real Techniques to blend all that out. Very natural, the, the Real Techniques just makes it look like skin, girl. Just skin, honey. And blends in so well. Oh my gosh, my hair. It blends so well um, into your skin. And I kinda have a little tan going on, so but regardless of the tan, this color still is eating. I don't know what's in it, what's in the water, girl. I, I really need to rebuy it. Y'all saw how it was almost gone. So I just blend that out and I usually only use this brush to blend my under eyes Sometimes concealer, but you'll see what I use for my under eyes Instead, oh, what am I saying? I usually use it for my under brows. Goodness This is my first vo voiceover y'all. I'm trying my best. Okay <laughs> So yeah Then we're gonna prime with the elf power grip primer. This is my favorite primer if you saw my summer favorites video you would know this is my favorite primer. Okay, I love it for summer skin. I love it for all skin year round, but summer is when I wanna look super glowy. And it just, ooh, it just grips your makeup like, like grip, honey, Gorilla Grips, okay? So you wanna rub that all over your face, rub it in really well. Um, and you wanna let it get tacky before you apply your foundation or your concealer, because that's how the grip affects goes into effect okay so we're gonna rub that in then under my eyes this is a key this is a hack for a um, matte or you know flawless under eye you want a poreless primer so that was the elf poreless face primer um, and I'm concentrating it under my eyes that feels so good like when you rub like that don't rub too hard because that's how you get wrinkles but when you rub like massage your under eye girl therapy literally makeup therapy and skincare therapy so yeah i just rubbed that in really good um because it is white i kind of go a little more heavy on rubbing it in instead of the clear just so there's no like white cast or anything and you want to even layer because that's going to help your under eyes not crease okay i struggle with that but when i use this product together for my under eyes it really helps so try that out when you get a chance Ow. So my foundation, okay, this is an oldie but a goodie. The Milani Conceal and Perfect and Conceal, Conceal and Perfect, ooh, the wig, honey. Uh, Yeah, so the, this foundation is so good, guys. I've had it for a while, but it's so underrated because I was using my Makeup by Mario and I was using my, um, what's that foundation? By um, Maybelline. Maybelline Fit Me, those that's my like favorite foundation. But I really I forgot. I'm like, let me try this foundation for this video, and I loved it honestly. I really do. Um, the cons the color was Cool Espresso. So they have them in different tones. If you're cool, warm, neutral, etc. Or I think that's it. Cool, warm, or neutral. So I, I just have the cool one because I didn't know if I needed the cool or the neutral, but it, it works. Next. Concealer, love Elf Camo. Concealer are my favorite concealer, favorite drugstore concealers, favorite concealer, period. Like, period, girl. Don't remember the name of the color. I'm so sorry. But uh, I'm gonna concentrate this under my eyes. And I don't do anything special. I know everybody does different things to say like, oh, this is how you get your face snatched. This is what I've done and this works for me. So I just make sure my concealer does not go below the bottom of my nose. That's pretty much how I get my under eye. I could have went lighter in the inner corners, but I didn't even feel like doing it. So I just went with that one. Um, I want to say this is deep chestnut if I am not mistaken. And that's where I concentrate my concealer, under eyes, bridge my nose, chin. Just to give me a snatched look. That's how I feel like I get my face snatched. Then I'm gonna go in with my thread um, foundation stick, and I want to say this is an espresso as well. 
um, and I do my forehead, um, carve out my cheeks, okay? Period. Okay, and then I bring it down a little bit. You see what I'm doing? I'm bringing it down to give that shape, okay? When I blend it out, y'all are going to see. I kind of just got that that uh, this tip off of TikTok or Instagram, one or the other. Don't remember. But I was like, hmm, let me try that because I think I like the way my face looks with that. So, yeah, I do my nose. I don't do a lot on my nose, but I do just enough. Um, and then I spray with the setting spray. This is the NYX Bear With Me spray. Not my favorite setting spray, but I ran out of my one size, so that's what we're working with. And you just get that from Target. It's by NYX. I, don't, I think I said that already, but yeah. Spray my face, get it re-wet. Okay, nice and juicy. Then we're gonna take our nice beauty blender. I just washed it, so it is thick right now. Um, but yeah, we just blend under our eyes, woo. And Pat, don't pull. Um, you want to make sure, oh, okay, getting close. You want to make sure you pat it, you see, so that you are patting that makeup in because when you pull it, that can give you wrinkles and it basically messes with the integrity of your layer of makeup. So if you're just pulling it around your face, like beauty blenders already soak up makeup. So when you're pulling it, it's just taking away the point of you putting the concealer on. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, pat that in, girl. Pet your concealer, ladies. Pet, pet. Pet your concealer, ladies. Watch me while I snatch my face. I use the same beauty blender, but just on the flat side to blend my contour so I don't get it mixed up with my concealer side. And I just blend that in all nice and smooth. Um, you know, we want to smooth those lines. You don't want to look like a freshly vacuumed carpet by the face, okay? You want to have blurred lines. Unlike, you know, maybe your relationship, you got some blurred lines, but with your makeup, you want to have blurred lines, baby. You want everything to just flow, okay? You don't want it to look like, oh, yeah, that's, that's where our contour started. That's where, you know, you want to look as natural but glam as possible. Then we're going to go on with the soft focus setting powder, loose setting powder. Well, it's not loose. It's compact setting powder. I do that before I set my face with loose powder because I noticed that when I try to jump in with the setting powder, that, that's when I crease. So when i use the you know compact powder that helps to even the texture of my skin Ooh, bop, bop my face with the brush. that just evens things out so that i go in with a nice smooth layer of loose setting powder so now that is the black radiance setting powder um and it is a warm i mean not a warm a brown color i don't know i can't really i don't like really yellow or like white setting powders anymore i used to but lately i prefer things that are brown because i feel like that just looks more natural to me um on my on my skin so yeah and i love a powder puff love a powder puff i'm obsessed with powder puffs guys like i use those and beauty blenders interchangeably for my concealer and i love it i love it i love it, I love it. So that's me just trying to blow it off so I can get a good even layer. And I do under my eyes, on my nose, a little bit on my chin, and I usually just use the rest on my forehead. 
if I have any left. I also go in um, on my sides of my face. So as you can see, carving it out. But remember how we did our contour? How we did it kind of down the sides? You don't want to bring your contour all the way to your mouth. Because that looks funny, in my opinion, on me, I'll say. Bringing it all the way to your mouth, that's kind of outrageous. Because then that takes away the fact that we just did that contour. So I just do it enough to really give shape, okay? You want to give shape when you're using these products. Um, because that's, that's the whole point of contouring and highlighting. You're creating definition in your face, okay? So, yeah. Then we're going to go on our... We have a lot of Black Radiance products. I didn't even realize that. Black Radiance, baby, if you see this, holla at me. Uh, the True Complexion Contour Palette, staple, okay? Top tier. We're going to use this to uh, set our contour, if you will. What am I looking at? Okay. Um, set our contour, okay? Same place we put our contour, that's where the True Complexion is going, okay? Nothing crazy. We're not doing anything out of the ordinary. And it eats. Oh okay. But yeah, y'all y'all just want to make sure you're putting it where you did your contour. Okay? Don't make it messy. You're setting. It's not an extra new step. This is literally just setting what you've already done. Okay? Alright, now we're gonna go in with this beautiful blush for my cosmetics brand. This blush is called Vengeance. I think that's Vengeance. I don't remember. I wanna say that's Vengeance. If it's not Vengeance, it's Head Honcho. Um, both are beautiful shades though. Head Honcho is a little more red. I mean, Head Honcho is a little more pink. Um, but Vengeance is like beautiful red, like gorgeous, gorgeous color. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's Vengeance right there. So, yeah, it's kind of like a reddish pink, um, but it's bright, it's bold, it's sexy. I love it. And it just gives you that glow, like so beautiful, so natural. Now we're gonna wipe off our setting powder. I like to do it after my blush, I don't know. I just feel like it's set better when it's on top of the setting powder. And then, oh, look at that, effortless. What lines, babe? But what line though? We don't wait in line. I'm in VIP. I'm in VIP. I don't wait in lines in the club. Like, what lines? Okay? Yeah. 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 Back with the setting spray. Y'all seeing all up through my wig, child. Setting spray, setting our face. Pretty much that last time. All our powders are on. So we want to make sure that's all locked and loaded. Um, fan us down because I soaked my face. Okay, soaked. Okay, what's next, girlfriend? Highlighter. Okay, by Tour Cosmetics. Also, um, this shade is so beautiful. This is a rose gold. Her name is Sophistication. She is so fabulous. Okay, our highlighters are loose, so they are buildable. You can use as little or as much as you would like to use. And I use a nice fanned out brush. It just, it, it works for an even apply, okay? Um, ooh, look at that. Even apply. So I usually just do on my cheekbones and tip of my nose. Nothing major. Um, I go in on both sides. It's like reflective. It's, it, it just reflects the light. And you're like, wow, who is that? Um... And it goes really pretty with the, the blush as well. It complements. The two colors complement each other for sure. Very warm. Very much summer vibes. And I just kind of blend the sides with my beauty blender. Just to make it all cohesive. No lines. We don't wait in lines. Then we're going to use our lip liner. It says bold eye, but it's lip liner. Got it from the beauty supply. And we're lining our lips. Personally, I do overline my lips because I feel like I have small lips. I will be getting lip filler um, probably in the next year. I'll take y'all on that journey with me when we get there. But yeah, 
I overline my lips just to give me a more pout. Okay. Big a pout. And yeah, this is just a nice dark brown. I think it's called coffee, I want to say. But you can find a lip liner any and everywhere. I love this one though. It's a twist up. It's not a pencil. So I really like that about it. Um, and yeah, we're just, we're just lining. But do y'all see the face though? Like under eyes, valid. Now we're going to use the lipstick, the liquid matte lipstick from Atour Cosmetics called Vixen. She is sultry. She is, she is sexy. She is warm. Okay, she's not bright red. She's a darker red. Darker the berry, sweeter the juice. Okay. She's a darker red, full coverage lip liner. I mean, lipstick. I'm sorry. Full coverage lipstick. Okay. And... I pretty much just fill in my lips like a coloring book, okay? Um, I try to go with the shape of my lips also because that way it doesn't just look like it's in the middle. Like I want it to mimic how I did my lip liner a little bit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna rub it in. Check and see if it's any in our teeth. It looks crazy right now, but you'll, you'll see. You'll see. Um, what I mean in a second yeah so now we're just gonna touch up our lip line just so it's all cohesive and blends in okay you don't want just a block of black a brown and then a block of red you want it to flow together that's the word of this video flow you want it all to flow together all right, now we're gonna go into our eyes. I do very simple eyes. I'm not a super crazy eyeshadow girl, that's not my thing. But I just, I'm using some discontinued Morphe bronzer for my eyes, <laughs> just as a, a transition shade. Okay, as you can see, it's more so in my crease. And I'm just using it to transition because I'm gonna use two other shades in this process, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe 35P palette and I'm just using the, the black, honestly. It's just the black shade. I think it's the only black shade. Just to give smoky. I want it to give smoky vibes, smoky eye vibes. So yeah, smoky eye on the lid, concentrating on the lid, okay? Because that's how we're gonna achieve the smoky, smoky eye. And I don't use eyeliner. If anyone wants to teach me, please. Because I, I definitely would have did eyeliner with this. But I don't have any liquid eyeliner. And I don't know how to do it. Now we're going to go into... I use the brown. Similar to my skin tone, but kind of different. I use that in my crease to give that... You know how it's, it's like a fire and then the smoke comes up at the top. And then like above the fire, you got like the... You know how it looks kind of digital or like wavy when you look into the fire? I don't know. That's kind of what I was going for. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm just blending that in so the black is not so harsh on my eyes. Now we're going to do our lashes. I'm covering up the name because... Because I might have some tea for y'all at the end of this video about these lashes, okay? So we're going to save that for later. But now we're going to put them on using the Duo Glue, my favorite lash glue. Um, I used to use hair glue for my lashes. I had to stop it. Okay, when I put it on, it would burn for a little second. 
and I just don't want to deal with that no more. So I'm like, let me use actual lash glue. And I use a little tweezer made specifically for lashes to apply them. I know some, when I don't have nails, I can put it directly on my eyes. But because I have nails, I just can't do it. Then at the bottom lashes, we're going to put on our Lash Paradise by L'Oreal Mascara. I use this mascara when I don't want to put lashes on. One of my favorite mascaras right now. Um, very affordable. Everything in this video is affordable, so you can literally run out and grab it if you want. Literally everything I mentioned in this video, you can run out and grab it. Love, love, love that mascara. And I touch up under my eyes with my powder puff, and then I brush out those lashes at the bottom because I don't like super clumpy so I brush it out with my spoolie that I had from a previous um, lash extensions appointment so yeah that's pretty much the finished look and now we're just gonna undo our curls curls for the girls all right y'all so this is the final look this is my very sultry kind of go to it's, this could be a date night look. You could wear this going out with your homegirls. You could go to a wedding. Of course, you could change up like the lips um, or the eyes. But the, the foundation, the bones of this look is full coverage. Um, high glam. That's what makes a high glam. It is high coverage. So we used the foundation, the concealer. Did some eyeshadow. I used to be a big eyeshadow girly. Like, I don't even know if I mentioned, but I did use my little Morphe palette. This is the 35P one, which is a lot of uh, purples. And this is, I've had this for years, but I still use it. It's probably not good to keep makeup that long, but I don't care. So as a reminder, go shop my cosmetics brand called Detour Cosmetics. Um, I'm wearing the liquid matte lipstick called vixen with a really pretty dark brown liner just to kind of give it some structure and then the blush i am wearing vengeance blush on my cheeks with the sophistication highlighter um and also i have a little bit of tea for you guys um these lashes that i have on so as you y'all saw i didn't link or tell y'all they were from anywhere particular right so these may or may not be a prototype so if you like this style, let me know. If you like this style, let me know in the comments what you think this style should be called. Okay, it's very fluffy. Hold on, let me let me give y'all a real close-up. So if you like this style of lash, it's very fluffy. It has its own little, you know, parts and stuff. Like, it's kind of spread out or whatever. If y'all like this style... Give me some name ideas in the comments. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know that you enjoyed watching me do my makeup. I did some things that I typically do. I try to, whenever I film makeup videos, I try to always try something different. Just so that it strengthens my knowledge and my skill of doing makeup. Because I feel like if I did the same makeup, same products, same technique every single time, it's going to be like, okay girl what what's new you know have you have you not learned i'll see you guys in my next video y'all have an amazing day and i'll see y'all later bye Mwah.